A local state representative wants new legislation to address the safety of structures across the low country. This pre-filed measure coming months after a condo collapse in Miami left nearly 100 people dead. News News' Riley Benson joins us live, and Riley State Representative Wendell Gilliard says he's concerned over buildings on or near marshy areas. Yeah, good evening, Carolyn Brennan. State Representative Wendell Gilliard says this past summer's Miami condo collapse should put the state of South Carolina and the Low Country on notice to take a closer look at the structural stability of large scale buildings, particularly built on wet and uneven ground. When that happened in Miami, can it happen here was the big question that came to me. And I told them, yes, of course. The collapse leaving 98 dead is seen as one of the deadliest structure failures in the United States. Preliminary investigation so the condo was built on uneven land. That's something Representative Gilliard believes is a common occurrence in Charleston. The whole situation here in the peninsula, a lot of these buildings are built on top of marsh lanes. And that's the God's truth. Representative Gilliard pointing to construction across the peninsula from the medical district to a proposed campus for Trident Technical College that began to sink where Joe Riley Park now sits. You cannot get around that. And we should take the warning, the signs on the wall. And this is a way of being proactive. Okay, this is the reality of it all. The city of Charleston reviewing buildings at home in the months since to avoid tragedy. City officials have been looking at potential measures to improve safety of buildings in the areas they should be evaluated so they can be made safer. You know, numbers of stories and ages of buildings and um, and even the type of construction um, as as if you would think about a, a pilot program, what what are most critical um, type of buildings? The representative looking to create the Coastal Structure Stability Study Committee to evaluate inspection measures for building six stories or higher along South Carolina's coast and on the Charleston Peninsula. We would do the study first, okay. and that's what I'm calling for to do a study, so we won't we could be proactive by doing this. I don't want a tragedy to happen. Of course not. Now, city officials met back in September. They plan to meet again in January to draft up potential solutions for safety enhancement for buildings in the Charleston area. Now, Representative Gilliard says this bill will likely be brought up for discussion when the state legislator returns to session early next year. For now, reporting live in Mount Pleasant, Raleigh Benson, count on two.